Honourable colleagues, I am pleased to lend my voice in support of Bill S-232. I want to start by reminding honourable colleagues about a public health emergency that has been with us for seven years and which shows no sign of abating. I am referring to the public health emergency on toxic drugs declared by British Columbia in 2016, a year in which there were 19,275 overdose or poisoning calls in my province. Sadly, the declaration of a public health emergency was prescient. The number of overdose slash poisoning calls went up to 23,441 in 2017, to 23,662 in 2018, 24,166 in 2019, and to just skip a few years to 33,654 in 2022. There was a 5% drop in overdose poisoning calls between 2021 and 2022, but I think you will agree that over 30,000 such incidents in a year is shocking and unacceptable. At the start of this year, Health Canada granted an exemption under the Controlled Drugs and Substances Act to the province of BC from January 31st of 2023 to January 31st, 2026 for adults in the province to not be subject to criminal charges for the personal possession of small amounts of certain illegal drugs. According to the British Columbian government, the criminalization is not associated with increased rates of substance use. It is, however, expected to help reduce the barriers and stigma that prevent people from accessing life-saving supports and services. The Minister of Mental Health and Addictions in BC has said that there is no evidence suggesting decriminalization of possession of up to 2.5 grams of illicit drugs for adults 18 or older has led to an increase in the consumption of illicit drugs in public spaces. As I mentioned earlier, this exemption came into effect at the end of January this year and will last for three years. It is this example from my province of British Columbia that persuades me to support Senator Boniface's bill on a framework for decriminalization of certain illegal substances. But I would stress that the decriminalization of such substances cannot be taken in isolation and has to be accompanied by support structures as well as a safe supply of drugs so that the users are not left out hanging. Much has already been said about how deep this crisis is, not only in my province and in the major cities of this country, particularly Vancouver and Toronto, but as Senator Boniface has reminded us, also in small towns across the country and indeed all regions of Canada. I would just underscore that uh, substance use disorder is a public health issue. It is not a criminal justice issue. The expert task force on substance use has unanimously recommended an end on criminal sanctions related to simple possession of controlled substances, and we should build on this expert recommendation to encourage the government to further develop this framework. There is evidence, as found in British Columbia, that de decriminalization for simple possession is an effective way to, to reduce the public health and public safety harms associated with substance use. There, are, however, there is, however, a need for alternatives to criminal sanctions which require integrated partnerships and access to diversion measures. Diversion approaches provide opportunities to make positive community impacts, including reducing recidivism, reducing ancillary crimes, and improving the health and safety outcomes for individuals who use illegal substances. Uh, what I've just recited is the preamble to 
uh, Senator Boniface's bill, and I agree wholeheartedly with all of these propositions. We've had this bill on our order paper since 2021. There have been, I think, four or five speakers already. Uh, it really is high time that we send this to committee for detailed study. The public health emergency, colleagues, there is a public health emergency going on in our country right now. It's not going away. It will not be wished away. And we need to take concrete ac action that allows us to come up with new approaches to addressing this diabolical problem. With that, uh, Your Honour, I conclude my short speech and encourage all of us to consider sending this to committee as soon as possible. Thank you.